Let's talk cricket. Cricket. Huzzah! Yeah. That's the, uh, that's, I've got a new sound effect. Nice. Very good. Yeah, thank you. Nice, yeah. uh, and potentially the first subject could have even been our mop this week. Let's talk <laughs> BBL draft. Yeah. It, it, I was thinking of doing it as a mop, but... It's got a bit section. Too, yeah. yeah, it's a bit too much to chat about, a bit too much to break down, but uh, it, it was labelled a disaster. Yeah. As, as a TV event, yeah, it was hard. It was Ordin- tough. What, ordinary yeah. viewing, wasn't it? Yeah, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, we, we'd spoken about it last week. It's, it's like they've watched all the other sports do um, drafts and then forgotten about all of it. <laughs> and then and it's like, like, how do we do this? I don't know. Let's make it up. And they've fed everyone a hash brownie on the way in, and everyone has been so slow motion and disinterested. Um, well, what I don't get is they had like each team had like six or eight people, but they only had a desk good enough for three of them. So everyone was sitting in the background. Budget just, cuts. Budget yeah, cuts. Budget cuts. But they all yeah. had them in a small like little studio as well, and packed them in, and then. Um, it wasn't good. Yeah, the commentator had to run back and forth between the yeah. desks to who's yeah. doing what. It was, just, oh, it was a shit show. Love Mark Howard. Love his work. Great yeah. podcast. Harry Games. Check it out. It wasn't yeah. his fault. This was set up to fight. No, but uh, yeah, he, he got uh, fed to the the wolves. I think in in this yeah. in this event, it was uh, just dry TV for something was, that they needed to probably kick it up a notch. And no bit. one really just seemed that interested to have a chat either. When when Howie went across and yeah. wanted to interview and the yeah. rest of it, and and the whole premise was oh we've got these big name people coming down to play down under and reignite um the, the big bash and turns out half of them aren't going to be available for finals and got got passed yeah. over i'm yeah, talking about, didn't get selected. talking about faf duplicy i'm talking about the west indians in, in andre russell and Dwayne bravo mm. talking about jason roy Le- these are some big names in t20 cricket and they, they got skipped over because they're not going to be here for the finals anyway uh, can, can they potentially get signed outside? And this is just to you know uh, to play those early parts of the tournament. I'm not sure if mm. that because they have nominated themselves as being platinum. That means you know they have to pay 375 grand or whatever it was for them. Uh, can they come down on? And play yeah, post pl- play the start. I imagine that that is probably a possibility. You, do you think you'd but want if you're Cricket Australia? You'd want all, f- all four of those guys there. Fucking if you want market, yeah. market the, yeah. the and, sport. and the o- and the others that, that, that got passed over. Uh, the other thing, and Sean, you kind of highlighted it, um, was was teams passing on picks. Eight out of the thirty two picks were were passes, mm-hmm. including a first rounder from the Scorchers. That means one in mm-hmm. four picks in this draft was a pass. Yeah, it's. It wasn't, a, uh, say, the dire straits that I thought it would be. <laughs> we would have passes galore, but still it was a, a decent number. And to even get one in the first round, I think, again, kind of killed off the, the hype, yeah. especially a team mm. like the Scorchers who have won a lot, mm. um, just to go, yeah, we're right, we don't need any of these blokes. You're just like, then what's the point? Yeah. Why are we doing this? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Faf Duplessis out, out on, the, on the board, let it go through to the keeper. <laughs> it was hard viewing. And I'd said, I'd said last week, I'm excited, I'm a cricket you know, nerd. I will, yeah. I will literally go home and watch this, and I was getting through it, just going, "Oh God, this is this is tough to watch." <laughs> yeah. And I, I think of the Rashad Khan thing as well. Is mm. uh, I think they should have probably done it more like an actual keeper thing, where you've kept a dude, um, so you don't have to go through this whole retention <laughs> thing. Because if if they could potentially poach someone, you get better storylines. Like that's better viewing of the yeah. TV. But you, I think it was was one of the Melbourne squads. Um, was like, yeah, we'll you know we'll pick him, mm. which then yeah. of course forced Adelaide to then retain him. Mm. Uh, if they were going to retain him anyway, but it kind of just killed the whole momentum because that was the second pick. That's mm-hmm. uh, just like, oh, okay, the, this rule kind of makes no real sense because um, mm. you then force them to make the pick. They've made their pick essentially for the second, and now you have to make a different pick. Yeah. So I was just like, they should have just known, oh, we're keeping Khan. Okay, he's off the board. Yeah. And we're not picking the first round. Done. So then they they go into it going, hey, we're going to, you know, this is what we are going to do. And Mm. I think they probably, I know a lot of these, none of these guys are in Australia and they had them on the Zoom call. Mm. um, But they had, you know, they pop up for 10 seconds and show them smiling and that was it. Mm, like yeah. maybe some more interaction with the players yeah. and some like oh yeah I'm so excited to yeah you know to me that felt like very pre-recorded recorded yeah. reaction yeah yeah we and what, we want to post it up there for the team that that gets them it's not like yeah, yeah like you said there was no interaction there was no like I think that we're probably spoiled because I, I was half expecting them to come across and give big hugs to Howie like big <laughs> old, you know NFL style Roger G- G- Goodell so yeah. was, put the yeah. cap on yeah it was like yeah I'm happy to be going there. yeah but it was just like yeah, scan across yeah. to their crying mother you know <laughs> they've just bought a house I love you mum 
yeah. big fucking diamond <laughs> chains hanging off their neck and shit. Yeah, but essentially it just ended up being a former Australian cricketer going, hey, as a coach, like, yeah, we've picked this bloke. Yeah. Yeah, he, he's going to be really solid to our strategy mm. and then run to the next pick. And you're just like, oh, well, that was fucking boring. <laughs> it, was, it was boring. I think, I think that's a fair assessment. That's a fair assessment. So, yeah, um, a lot of lessons I mean, to learn, hopefully. Um, well, I suppose that's the question. Like, you look at the, I, the IPL auction. Yeah. What's the difference between, well, I suppose it's more of an auction than anything else, but what's the difference between the Big Bash draft and, like, an IPL auction? Like, billions of dollars. <laughs> not billions, yeah. not billions. I would have said millions. I would have said millions. And, obviously, Rajasthan Royals, uh, yeah. uh, uh, an eccentric auctioneer, which, which, you know, maybe you needed a little bit of that. So, yeah. Something Where to pick the up the yeah. mood, man. It's not a fucking funeral out there. <laughs> no, no. It's not a funeral. <laughs> Seriously, open casket. Jesus yeah. Christ. It was it was hard to watch. It was hard mm-hmm. to watch, yeah. but yeah, uh, look, the IPL auction isn't, ex, you know, it's not ecstatic viewing. But yeah. there's there's more involved. There's, there's, more to that there's bigger name players. There's more yeah. rounds. There's more money being thrown. It, mm-hmm. it just seemed like, I don't know, it just seemed like half the people didn't want to be there. Yeah, mm. that's that's how it seemed to me. Yeah, well, and, when uh, half of them aren't sitting behind a table or. Just sit in the background, yeah. <laughs> not <enough> fucking seats. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they were just the, the 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 you know the smile and wave people you mm, get at the it. back mm. of politician probably press conferences. That's what it felt <laughs> like. So I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're, they're, they're the nodders. That's essentially what they're there. They're just in the back end of nod and agree with whatever the dude in the front saying. So yeah, I'm just, just disappointed. And but maybe we were expecting too much of them for all their first draft, possibly. Uh, yeah, possibly. Uh, with the, you know the crossover yeah. from all the other sports that. We watch that do drafts as well. As Monkey said, you know, no expectations, no disappointment. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> true. That's a motto to live your life by. <laughs> name, get that, name get that tattooed time, on your neck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's, let's talk about the bright things that came out of the draft. We do have some big mm. names coming down under this summer. Uh, Liam Livingston goes to the Renegades with the first pick. We kind of picked that. Yeah, Probably right. the in-form uh, player out of, out of this bunch. Uh, an unbelievable IPL, maybe the cleanest hitter of a of a of a white ball at the moment getting around. So that that'll be that'll be nice to see him uh you know ply his craft this summertime. Trent Bolt, uh you know pr- a, a big name quick a New Zealander. We haven't seen him in the, in the um big bash yet. He goes to the Stars. Sam Billings is is very talented. He goes to the Heat. Uh Chris Jordan, uh, a quick uh, English quick goes to the Sixers. The, the past that we spoke about from the Scorchers. David Willey, we th- I thought he might have gone to the Scorchers. Interesting that the, that the Scorchers passed and, and didn't want to uh, throw some money at, at someone who's who's uh, who's been very good for them in the past. And, and Shabad mm. Khan, I think uh, the Hurricanes will get familiar this year with, with a few of the, their Pakistani mm. uh, imports mm. that they actually um, picked only Pakistani players. Mm. I like the play there from the Hurricanes. They're thinking, oh, what's a way to maybe, you know, maybe jump into a little market? Oh, why don't we pick three <laughs> players from the same country, population yeah. two hundred plus million, when there's half, you know half a million people that live down in Pakistan? <laughs> there might be purple Hobart hurricane flags, you know, <laughs> cruising down the streets of Karachi, going, "We love Hobart, go Hobart!" I, I actually think that might be the smartest play out of the, out of this draft, <laughs> uh, just drafting exclusively Pakistani players. There, interesting, uh, we interesting. won't we won't go through the others. I don't think uh, some. Some bigger names that, that will be coming uh, back down under, Colin Munro, James Vince, uh, Colin de Granholm, he just uh, retired from international cricket, uh, Phil Salt, Riley Rosso, uh, Alex Hales. There's some pretty you know decent players that, that, that got drafted yep. here. but yeah. Heavy Pommy contingent. A lot, a lot of English, mm. um, a few Pakistanis, a few Afghans. Uh, as mm. um, you know, Rashid Khan gets retained, yeah. uh, uh, the likes of... Uh, Mujib uh, Rahman uh, comes down. Uh, Izal Rao Haq Navi, <laughs> doing my best there. Um, and then, and then, yeah, mo- mo- mostly English people. Uh, makes sense. It's uh, winter time over there. Mm-hmm. If they're going to play in any other series, it might be this this UAE series. Uh, but obviously, no domestic cricket to compete with, as you know, the New Zealand and and South African contingents will will have to compete with. Yeah. Um, very few West Indians. You know, mm. we, we spoke about, uh, you know, Bra- Bravo and Dre Russ and Corin Pollard and that, you know, n- not going. Uh, that They're probably going to go and play in the, in the UAE mm. league. It would have been nice to see them. They always bring a bit of flair and, and a bit of excitement yeah. and, and some big hitting. But they're, uh, they're chasing coin. Uh, you know, nothing wrong with that, but, course, <laughs> but no, we know. Of course not. We know what they're after. Indeed, indeed. Oh, yeah, I think we've, we've hit, uh, you know, I think we've we've – Brought up the, the main points here, boys. It 
it was a good idea. It was a good idea. The execution may be slightly lacklustre. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's a learning curve, you know, to, mm-hmm. to go next mm-hmm. next year and go, well, if we know these guys aren't going to get picked, you faff do plus season and the like, let's, let's not advertise that they're, yeah, they're on, on the, the board, you know, that yeah, because it, it just kind of seems a little bit shallow and, and you know, misprepared, I, I, I suppose. Mm-hmm. So when does that tournament actually start? That's not till we got months. Uh, we, it'll be start of December, yeah. I think. Yeah, we, we've got some time. The the Aussies, you know, that that are fighting uh, for for positions in their their respective teams. Uh, all of all of that will will um, come to fruition in the next few months. Uh, but quite some time, I think, until that big bash officially kicks off. Max, what do you got there? Some some UAE. Yeah, so we've got yeah. a lot of the West Indies <laughs> over there already. So the likes of Sunil Noreen, Trey Rice. Trent Bolt's on that list. Uh, Trent Bolt is on that list. Kyron Pollard, Dwayne Bravo, Puran, Trey, Andre Fletcher. Um, some some pretty big names. Johnny Bairstow mm. over there. Uh, so, the, yeah, it's it's going to be corre- um, direct competition, I suppose, now with with the big bash moving forward. It's, a, it's just mm. two teams that have posted... So yeah, so, so it's announced. just a quick search. So there's only so two teams. Abu nominated. Dhabi Knight Riders. That's weird that they can. I wonder if they're affiliated actually with Kolkata. Well, the, I the believe like they might be. I think a lot of uh, the owner owner groups. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's like, it's like, uh, yeah. I'm glad. I'm glad uh, that you you brought that up because looking across, they are direct affiliates. Uh, so, so there's uh, the Mumbai Indian Emirates, uh, the Gulf Giants, du- Dubai Capitals. I suppose we by default mm. go for Dubai. Yep, I suppose. Well, ever since I was a little <laughs> boy, I just really <laughs> bled you by, you know. Big fat airport, fucking, you know. <laughs> <laughs> nice cars cruising around. Yeah. So they got two other owner groups there. Yeah, so, th- so there's only no, four right? te- four teams announced and there'll, there'll be a total of six, it looks like, uh, here for, for the inaugural UAE T20 League. So good old Wikipedia has got the other two teams as uh, Shajar Warriors. And the Desert Vipers. So maybe so they are they affiliated with IPL teams? Um, doesn't look like it. Yeah, so some some Would affiliated, not some not. Yeah, which is probably why these ones have been already announced. Yeah. yeah, interesting. So interesting. you got the six and two independents. Mm. Mm. Yeah, well. Go Caps! Should buy Caps? Mm-hmm. Let's go.